Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in the Mundane. Um, if you're like me, you have a million choices you make every single day. Your kids are asking you um, all sorts of things. What to do next? What should we wear? What should we eat? And if you're like me, mealtime is about the thing that will push you over the edge when they ask what's for dinner. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about how to take out a lot of that decision making and making your life easier, your meal plan simpler, and how to save some money. So like I said, I discovered that the problem was actually uh, not so much about the menu planning itself, but about having to make these decisions every single night or every single week. The days that, or the weeks that I did do meal planning went smoothly and great. We came in at budget and my kids were happy and fed. Mom wasn't frazzled and it was fantastic. But the truth is most weeks I didn't have a chance to get around to meal planning. So instead, I would end up frazzled having my husband run to the store at the last second for that one missing ingredient while I was halfway through the meal. Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> and I realized that if those decisions are made ahead of time and I have the proper planning, it's great, but where do you find the time? So part of that solution is to take as much of the decision making out of the process as possible. So it's going, the system's going to require some time up front, for sure. You're probably gonna have to take a day and just devote it to kind of getting the system in place. But once it's in place, it will really significantly reduce the amount of time that you are spending on your day-to-day -day decisions um, and your weekly meal planning decisions. So let's get started. So step one, you're going to jump in and you're gonna start making a list of every breakfast, every lunch, and every dinner that your family enjoys. And these are gonna be things you already make. If you are a Pinterest perfect mom, there will be times to add in those um, experimental uh, recipes and that's great, but this is not the time for right now. So first you're gonna make a list. So I typed mine up, you can just write yours on paper. But I have breakfast on orange, lunch, and dinner, okay? And I have just a list of the typical ones. I don't get real detailed, you know, it's baked to chicken, rotini, lasagna, tacos. I did decide to kind of categorize it just for myself. So like Mexican dishes, Italian, crock pot, grill dishes. Um, on breakfast, I was able to break it down into things that are fast and easy to make. Things I can make ahead and put in the freezer or have um, off to the side. And then things that you have to make that morning. So doing this was just really helpful to get an idea. So you could just stop there. You could have that for you so that when you're ready to do your meal planning for the week, you can just pull from those ideas and that's gonna help you a lot in and of itself. But if you need to reduce the decision making by even more, this is something we've moved to that might be helpful. You're gonna think about your typical schedule and the fall is a perfect time to do that, although you can do it any time of year. But especially with new activities and new events coming up, you can look at it and say, Bobby has soccer on Friday nights. So we know that those days are gonna be a lot crazier or we have co-op classes on Mondays or whatever it might be. So you're gonna think about your schedule in mind and you're gonna take, and you're just going to schedule out breakfast and lunch. So we used to do quick and easy breakfast. Um, cereal, uh, Pop-Tarts, I mean that kind of thing. And the truth is it was getting way too expensive and my kids weren't super full. Um, and it's also not the healthiest choice, but we were kind of in survival mode for a while. <laughs> with uh, new babies and whatnot, it was just kind of craziness and we did what we could do. So wanting to move to a healthier um, lifestyle and wanting to make it where my kids were actually full and it didn't break the bank was important to me. So I decided to start making breakfast every morning. So while I'm making breakfast, my kids are working on their morning chores um, and then we can all sit down together. So I made a list and you wanna make a list of Monday through Sunday, you wanna, or Sunday through Monday, you want to make a list of every um, breakfast and you want every breakfast to probably be pretty different, and I'll explain why in a minute, and then every lunch, okay? And again, taking into consideration what you have um, coming up. So for us, Fridays are busy days. We have errands that day, we have co-op classes that day, so it's quick and easy breakfast, it's sandwiches for lunch, it makes it really easy, okay? Then at the bottom of this list, I have snack ideas, okay? And I don't really assign these a day, I just have lists of snacks out there so that when they ask for a snack, I have something in mind. Um, but that's usually because I don't have to do much prep work on their snacks. So I go ahead and assign out a set breakfast for every Monday, for Tuesday, whatever. And then we repeat this menu plan for um, the entire season. So I'm thinking quarterly is what we're doing. 
Um, and so that way, or seasonally at least. So, you know, in the fall, you might have different recipes that are better for warm weather or summer recipes, whatnot, like grilling out, whatever. So you're just going to do breakfasts and lunches. Um, you're going to put this on here and you're going to stick to it. Every single Monday is going to be breakfast burritos or scrambled eggs. Every single Monday. Every single Tuesday is going to be smoothie and bagels or whatever you decide to do for your breakfasts. Um, I also try to keep in mind um, what ingredients kind of go together. So for instance, um, we, have, uh, we have pizza bagels and fruit on, homemade pizza bagels and fruit on Monday afternoons for lunch. And on Tuesday morning, we have smoothies and bagels. So I have them kind of close together so that we can use whatever leftover bagels we had from the day before. We can use it for breakfast the next morning. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you're going to, um, or at least what we've done, you don't have to do it this way, is this way all of your breakfast and lunch decisions are made for you in the entire month in advance, the entire season in advance, which is wonderful. Then what you're going to want to do is um, see if there's one or two nights a week that you want to make a set menu. So for us, it's Taco Tuesday. Every single Tuesday is tacos. Now there's still variation in there. I can do chicken tacos, I can do beef tacos, whatever, but it is tacos every single Tuesday night. Friday nights are saved for pizza nights because that's our family night. Um, we usually watch a movie, play board games, something like that, and have pizza. Um, but again, a lot of flexibility. It can be homemade pizza if mommy's super tired. It can be frozen pizza <laughs> or, um, or maybe takeout if there's good coupon deals or whatever. So I love the fact that those two nights are set in stone. Um, but we have Taco Tuesdays. So on Wednesdays, we have quesadillas. And that way, if I want to take leftovers from the tacos and grill them in the quesadillas, I can do that as well. So um, just think about how the different things affect each other. Um, try to use somewhat like ingredients if you're trying to cut down on your budget. Um, and go ahead and have those set out, okay? Once you have plugged in your breakfast and your lunches and select just one or two things, you could meal plan the entire thing and do it the same every single day of the week, every meal. But to me, I was worried that that would get a little tiring and old. <laughs> um, breakfast and lunches, because they're all different day to day, um, is nice because you don't get too tired of them. And it is so nice to wake up Monday morning and not have the kids go, what's for breakfast? I can just say, oh, it's eggs. Also, if you're looking to work with your kids in the kitchen, um, this is a great opportunity to really teach them how to make these specific recipes and start passing over some of that to them. And they can perfect it within that season before you're ready to change. But once you've got it set, and you've got your like two nights a week and I try to pick some of the either the nights like family nights or something like that or some of the tougher nights where we've got we've got speech um, on Tuesdays so we get back late like right before dinner so having that already figured out is fantastic so we can avoid eating out um, but have those couple of days set now all you have to do is plug in four or five extra meals just your dinners that's it okay and you can take off of your list you take off your dinner list where you wrote down your favorite, your family's favorites, or if you're a Pinterest mom, you can grab that new recipe and throw it on there, but you're just plugging in a couple of meals instead of doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snacks for every single week. Okay, then what I did, and again, this takes a little time up front, but it saves you so much time in the future, is I made a knife, and it's backwards, so hopefully you can see the idea here, um, is I made a weekly menu shopping list. So I said on Mondays, we have eggs slash breakfast burritos. And I listed every single thing that we need to make that. We need eggs, milk, cheese. We put sausage in there and tortillas, okay? I listed all in there. I list everything for lunch that we need because those stay the same. And then Monday nights is a night that is not scheduled. That is not like our Taco Tuesday or our Friday pizza nights. So it just has a blank line. This way I can just plug in the meal for here and I can write down any ingredients we need for it here. Okay, then Taco Tuesday, so this is already all filled in with everything, which is awesome. Um, fill in Wednesday night dinner, Thursday night dinner, Friday night dinner, and then for our family on Sunday nights, we actually go to families' houses, um, over to each other's, you know, houses, or we'll just do like a leftover night. So that's super easy, I don't have to do it. So I actually only have to plug in four meals a week, is it. Um, which is awesome. So you plug in your ingredients and then at the bottom I put a place where I can plug in other shopping list things like detergent, paper plates, whatever. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to make this once. You're going to print it out every week. You could put it in a laminated pouch if you wanted to, um, but I just print it out each week. And then what I do is I go through 
um, and go through my pantry. And before the week, when I sit down and I write out my four meals, that's it, four meals, that I'm meal planning out for, I go through and I circle or highlight anything that I do not have. And because you're using the same ingredients over and over again, because you're buying oatmeal this week, you're not gonna need to buy oatmeal next week and the week after. So it's gonna save you money because you're using these ingredients over and over again. They're not gonna go bad um, and whatnot. And so um, that's a big help. But you're gonna circle or highlight those ingredients and then take this to the store and your shopping list is done. You don't need to rewrite it. Um, so this is gonna save you hopefully a lot of time on doing this. Um, you do want to um, think about how your family likes to do things because it's great again like I said to try new things um, but I think that the big thing is is that you want to make a meal plan that works for you if you are in the time of life where you like lots of variety you could do the same idea but just do it for a month um, for me right now I just need to get going and especially with school starting I want to reduce the amount of stress that's involved so having this sort of autopilot for me is amazing so um, I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you go like us on Facebook at Life in the Mundane. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you found it helpful. I release videos every Saturday with new information um, and hopefully it'll help you, it'll find helpful to you. Um, learning all about how to make the most of the little moments, the mundane moments of life so that you can enjoy your family more. And feel free to share, comment in the comments if you have any questions or um, or other ideas. I'd love to hear how you do meal planning. Um, the other great thing about this system is that it makes it really easy if you're going to do freezer cooking, um, which we can talk about in a different video, but if you're going to do freezer cooking, it makes it super simple to um, plan this ahead. You already know what you're going to need and you can go ahead and make up breakfast burritos for the whole month um, if you want. And that way it takes even more work off of your shoulders. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!